Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, another ride home review and this week I watched Ghost in the Shell starring Scarlett Johansson and Michael Pitt and Juliette Binoche directed by Rupert Sanders, not a director I, I'm familiar with, but uh, the story is as such a a victim's soul, brain, whatever is placed into a mechanical body um, as a first of her kind that successfully has survived this type of surgery and she's made into a weapon. Imagine that because uh, she is mostly mechanical. Um, and then the plot thickens from there, uh, wanting to know who she is, where she's from, so on and so forth, while investigating uh, some crimes. Um, th uh, positives about this movie, uh, the visuals, for the most part, are are really good. Um, the visual effects, the building of this world, uh, the interesting aspects that they decided to add as a futuristic part of Earth, or I, I'm assuming some type of Asian country. It had a lot of Asian themes to it, as in, you know, you know Japanese, uh, Chinese themes to it. Um, so, I really like that. I thought, I felt that uh, um, the editing was really good on it. Um, some of the, the action scenes, but the visual effects were really stunning. They were really good, I gotta admit. Um, uh, the costuming, uh, that type of stuff, it really did, it really did a good job of putting you in, in this futuristic world with a lot of the cybernetic enhancements that people were dealing with. What I didn't like about the movie, the negatives, was first of all, the story was dull. Uh, I really wasn't wowed by it at all. Um, I just, uh, I just felt that it just, it just didn't, it just didn't have anything. It just seemed like it was missing something. It just was not all there. It was not all piece well. Um, uh, it was predictable in parts. And it just, there was no chemistry um, between the actors. Uh, it just, it just was blah. It was just really not what I thought it would be. Um, well, I didn't know what to think it was, but it wasn't, it wasn't very, uh, it wasn't very, I don't know, just didn't have a lot to it. Uh, I mean, there was some action scenes, there was a little bit of the history that, you know, it just, that story just was, was written dull, it was dull, um, it could have been a lot better. Uh, also, the biggest gripe I have with it is, I mean, I'm a fan of Scarlett Johansson's work, I think she's a very superb actress, uh, and I've liked a lot of the things that she's done. This, however, shouldn't she shouldn't have been in this role. Um, this was obviously a role for an Asian American actress or Asian actress, sorry, Asian actress in general. They made her almost look Asian in the facial features. I just did. I just had a hard time. I had a hard time with that. Um, other than the fact that the the, the story was blah. Um, no real antagonist, no real good antagonist. There's a lot of missing pieces when it came to the script and the story. And, and, and like I said, the chemistry on screen was just not there. It just felt like the actors were just going through the motions. Um, and I didn't like how they made Scarlett Johansson's character walk either. It was just weird, almost like a Frankenstein. It just was strange. Um, what to watch for? There's a couple scenes where Scarlett Johansson's character uh, kicks some butt, and I really enjoyed how they how they did that. So 
There's a couple scenes where she does that, and it's really cool how they did it. But all in all, I don't recommend this movie. I thought it could have been a lot better, and I thought that someone else should have played Scarlett Johansson's role. But what did you think? I hope you liked what I said. What did you think? Leave it in the comments. Uh, I hope this has been helpful, and I'm sorry it went a little bit long, but um, stay tuned next week. For the next one, I think it may be The Lost City of Z that I go see next week, uh, but stay tuned. I uh, hope you enjoy these, and I uh, will see you soon. Have a good one.